Hello all and welcome to Music Minute, the hot theory guide to learn those extra concepts the right way, brought to you by StephenJags.com. My name is Steven, today we're going to be getting our ice cream scoops and spoons out because we're talking about the Neapolitan Chord. The Neapolitan Chord is just another major triad, really, but it is in a very sneaky place. It's not on one or two or three or four or five or six or even seven, and it's not on eight because that technically doesn't exist, but it's on flat two. So if we do this in the key of C, it's on D flat. Therefore, our notes are D flat, F, and A flat. But it's really common to see this chord in first inversion, so that F better be on the bottom. Now, technically, these happen in the minor keys, but we can go further than that. First, start with whatever scale you want. Go up a half step from your tonic and make a major chord off of that. And there you have a Neapolitan chord. Traditionally, in a chord progression, the Neapolitan chord functions as a subdominant. That means that the next chord following it will be a dominant chord or a five chord. After the five chord, it really doesn't matter where you go, but it's really common to go to like to the tonic. So let's do that for the simple chord progression. Here's what it sounds like. And the last thing to do is to name this chord. See, there's kind of a lot of names for this chord, and that can be very annoying. So the most common thing to do is obviously just flat major 2, 6 for the first inversion. But what if you're in the key of E minor where your 2 is actually F sharp, so to flat it you actually make it F natural, thus giving us natural 2, 6. Or if you're in the key of E sharp minor and your 2 is actually F double sharp. Now to lower that thing you'd have to call it F sharp and therefore it would be sharp 2, 6. And aren't sharp 2 and flat 2 like opposites? So to simplify, we can just call them all the same thing, and that is N6. Calling it N6 tells you how it's related to the tonic, and that's all that matters. So enough nitpicking about this chord, here's your first example with the Neapolitan. That example was in minor. For those of you non-believers out there, here's one in major. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Music Minute. If you have any comments or questions, or you have an idea for a future episode, or if Neapolitan is your favorite flavor of ice cream, you can let me know on Facebook, the comments below, or directly email me on my website, stephenjacks.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more Music Minutes. Here is me eating some ice cream. Oh, it's so good.